Hey guys, it's Kyle from AK Pro Films and welcome to this video where we're going to review Mac X Video Converter Pro. So let's dive into this review right away. Alright, so Mac X Video Converter Pro is a great piece of software, but you can probably tell from the title it's just a video converter and you're absolutely correct. But the thing that separates this piece of software from the rest is that it comes with a bunch of features that you can use besides just converting a video. So let's open up Mac X Video Converter Pro and show you those features. So opening up the software here, we are greeted with a very simple interface, which makes using the software very simple. Alright, so let's add a video by either clicking on the media panel over here, or just dragging and dropping one. So let's just grab our intro.mov and drop it right in. So there we go, we can see it's been added to our media panel over here. But right away, the output profile section is brought up. An output profile is basically the end result or the end file that you're going to get when you press run down here. So we can see we have a bunch of different profiles like Apple devices, Android, Microsoft, Sony, Blackbeard, and Nokia devices. We have our web services. We can also see we have our common video profiles. We have our Mac general video, our PC general video, DVD profile, and our HD video. So let's just go to Mac general video here. And let's go with the MP4 video, since that's just what I want to use for this video in this case. They also have MOV videos, and they also have M4V videos. The recommended one is the H.264, not the MPEG-4. They just recommend it. I don't know why, it just probably offers performance. So let's just press Done. We can press on Info to view the video details. We can press Edit to edit the video, and we can rename the video as well. We can also change the output profile if we would like to by going up here to the output profile. We have a bunch more options over here to change as well. But let's just edit the video a little bit, so let's press on the edit button. So we can see that it just plays the video right away. We have our general settings that are brought up. So we can customize the audio volume, we can add a subtitle or configure the subtitles, we can trim, crop, and expand the video, and we can add a watermark. So let's add a watermark. So we can add text if we don't have an image, but we can have an image if we want to. So I recommend a PNG file or one with a transparent background. It just looks the best when it's set for a watermark. So here's a logo for AK Pro Films. Let's just stretch it out since it was a little compressed when it was brought in. Or we can go down here and configure the settings here to get it back to its original state, if you know the dimensions. We can also adjust the transparency options if you want to. You can just play with a bunch of these settings to get it how you want. So in this case, I don't really need a watermark since I'm just converting the video file to another file type. So watermarks can also be especially useful if you have a demo video and you just want to place your logo or demo text on it if you want to. So it's pretty simple to change all those settings. So next, let's change the destination folder. Right now it's set to the desktop and that's how I want it to set. We can also adjust these settings over here. And let's just press run. So it's gonna take that MOV file and convert it to the MP4 file. So it's very quick and simple, they're the same video, just in a different format for sharing or for importing into different editing systems or the like. So also included with Mac X Video Converter Pro, it comes with a YouTube downloader. So you don't have to buy the additional Mac X YouTube downloader, you can if you want to, but it's just bundled with this so it's really easy to use it. So all you have to do is add a YouTube URL, paste it in, choose the resolution, and press download now. And then when you're done with that, you can easily import it back into Mac X Video Converter Pro and convert that video so you can put it on your device or you can just change the file type. So it's all incorporated into this one piece of software. You can also take a video recording using your webcam or external webcam plugged in. You can use a screen recorder. You can also 
Take screencasts and put it on YouTube or the internet or, or wherever you want to share it. There's just, I just found out there's a little bit of lag using it, but it might be different on your system. You can also crop the region if you want to focus on a particular area. So going back, those are basically all of the settings in MacX Video Converter Pro that you can use. You can see there are a bunch of them. So I would totally recommend this piece of software. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video where we discussed MacX Video Converter Pro. Down below in the description, you can find a link to their website where you can go and download this software and you can see all the deals they have since it's the Christmas season. They say they're getting up to 70% off on some and they have some free gifts. So I totally recommend to check out that link below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video where we talked about Mac X Video Converter Pro. Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.